I found a pretty interesting product that I'm going to show you today it's called Clay, Clay.run. It's an integration platform for SaaS that is like Zapier with Airtable, with custom functions and everything all rolled up into one. So stay tuned for this one. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. And today I'm going to take a look at this product called Clay.run. I don't know where I found this product. It really intrigues me. It looks almost like a, I don't want to call it a Zapier replacement because I don't think they're going to have all the integrations, of course, as Zapier, Zapier. But it is sort of like a trigger and action based workflow tool that you can use to automate your your team processes and you can kind of see here they got web a trigger might be a web hook which then takes an action to you know do some things send a slack notification hit your internal applications i mean all the things that i personally do with zapier a lot this looks to be like another tool you can do it but then i scroll a little bit further and it talks about building and organizing your data into a powerful database with one click and and doing all sorts of functions within these spreadsheets or databases. And and, and I'm, I'm thinking about CRMs and I'm thinking about all sorts of, uh, 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 you know, kind of like um, a field book, which went out of business, but Airtable, uh, which is a, a product that does some of this stuff. So and then you scroll down a little bit more and it's talking about writing functions and and all kind of custom things so i don't think i'm going to be able to do justice to this product in just the short video that we do here but i do want to check it out and introduce it to you and we're going to do an onboarding what i really like the pricing check this out you got a free plan here it's going to give me ten thousand records per base that's that database feature two workflows that can do a thousand runs now i'm assuming that's a thousand runs per month and a thousand function credits whatever that is again i'm assuming that's per month and then even if you did upgrade uh not that expensive you get a lot there and it is per user so let's just figure this all out it says during the review period you get the pro plan for free so we should have access to click around so let's try it i'm going to try this I don't, i've never worked with this product before we'll see how the onboarding is let's give it a username i'll just call it dayferg5000 which is my twitter account by the way if you want to go out and follow me on twitter as well let's put a tech smart boss in there and put in a password and sign up and let's just see what clay.run is all about so that was fast it took me straight into it now there is looks like a little bit of onboarding a a, a demo exam says explore this sample crm so I, I mentioned crm and they actually have a a basic crm uh here as an example so this will give you a feel of how to use clay to build lightweight, powerful tools. I like that. Let's click on it and see what's going on in here. So that's that Airtable type structure I talked about where I can set up, you know, spreadsheets. Seems like they call them bases. And it appears that each of these columns can have some functions or functionality behind them. So uh let's take a look at uh, scrape the website i'm just gonna click on that and it looks like that actually brought me something over here and i'm not seeing all of it but it looks like it's some sort of web web uh scraping feature just bring me back that website let's see let's see if i can I'm not, it might be a firefox thing while i actually let me make my browser a little bit bigger. Yeah, looks like it's for some reason not detecting that I have my browser max size there. Let's take a look at uh, Twitter lookup. Let's click on that. So these objects appear to be those functions that are bringing me back live. What looks like JSON or XML type of feeds here that I'm sure you could do something with programmatically. All right, let's 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 go back because I'm not necessarily getting everything I need from that and it looks like the concept here is that you start with your basic well, look at flows because that's really what I was interested in there's the flows and there's the functions interesting so you got the three components so we've seen basis let's actually set up a flow and see what kind of triggers and actions they have so I'm just going to call this example I'm not in a creative mood right now and here we go all right so from a trigger perspective I can trigger off of a base. 
So there's integration. There's that air table to a trigger. You could do a lot with that. I mean, I, I'm just having ideas about uh, accounts payable and, and renewal, subscription invoicing, and all kinds of things you could do with that concept there. All right, apps. They've got uh, a couple things here that are interesting, like Owler. That's one we've talked about as cool tech of the week that allows you to keep on top of competitor news. So I'm assuming that when a new instant alert or something comes on one of your competitors, you can use that as a trigger. Slack triggers, e-commerce triggers, RSS feeds, Twitter, webhook, which I think is what you're going to use more than anything for some of your custom stuff here or some of your other tools. You could even have Zapier set out a webhook. So if they don't have stuff here, you could I could see where you could tie Zapier and this together. Uh, Zendesk um, is there. I'm going to just do Owler and see what happens. Yeah, there it is. New company news on a particular. So it looks like each trigger would have. Let's pick something else. Let's pick what you can do with Zendesk. A new ticket. A new comment on a ticket. A webhook. You can receive that. So webhook would probably be what I use more than anything on this. A tweet. Listen for new tweets that match your search criteria. So basically, as you set up your app here, so let's do this. Let's do Twitter. Select our action. It looks like I would have to authenticate with Twitter in order to, to actually use that. So you'll see it continue to authenticate with Twitter. Actually, let's not pick Twitter. Let's pick, um, let's pick an RSS feed because I can type that off the top of my head here. So I'm going to put in the tech smart boss RSS feed. So let's say every time that I would put in a new blog or something like that. All right, it's going to test it. Let's pull sample data. And there it is. Pull that in there. So now I've got my trigger set up. Every time something comes in on my blog, it's going to trigger a workflow. Now let's see what actions we can do. Here we go. So we got more actions. So I can pop this action. I can add an entry in a base, it looks like. I can trigger another flow. So that opens up a lot of possibilities there. I can kick off one of those functions. We're going to take a look at that in a second. But I can also take actions in here. And you'll see I can send an email, it looks like. I can do a web post. Uh, I can look up an email, hunter.io, right there. Uh, I, can, I can do a lot of send grid, send some emails through that, Slack. Send an SMS, text, send out a tweet, and all sorts of things like that. So this is I can look up, do some user enrichment, and then probably post it uh, to a CRM. So lots of things here. Let's uh, a filter. So of course you don't want to put. Maybe I want to look and just key in on my podcast. So I can do multi action So let's do a filter. So let's do a filter, and I'll say that condition one. Uh, Let's see what this does. RSS entry. Oh, okay. It, it, it is a little structured pull of my data there. So category. Let's go back to that. Category. Let's clear that out and do that again. What was it saying there? Okay, trigger. So I can base it on title. Or I can base it on category contains the word podcast as an example and that see all right then I could add another step so I'm seeing the flow of this and I'm seeing a lot of possibility and again that that free version is very useful and if you do a lot I would say with webhooks uh, and HTTP let's do HTTP I can send a request, but what kind of HTTP request? Okay, good. So I've got the ability to do some headers, some authentication. I can pick my method. Yeah, so I could I could do some I could do some not quite web hooks, but I could do some HTTP there as well. Let's so, so that's the 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 flow piece. I want to look at the function piece before we get off of this video here. And let's see. Let's call this example. And I'm not going to write any code, but I just want to get in here and see what it is. And it looks like it's going to be a coding type environment. So again, through that flow, I can pass in some functions here and manipulate data and then probably get that as a return and bring it back into my base. So in the terms of, of creating business apps, if you are 
or you have some tech savvy people on your team, you could probably do some pretty, pretty advanced things here. I'm just going to see what it looks like to create and start a base. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. You just add cobble. Let's see what that looks like. I can add in text, numbers, check boxes, things like that. And then here's those computed. Okay, this is interesting. So the computed columns are actually tying in with a lot of their integrations in the flow side of the house. Plus, they got a couple extra ones here. So that's, I mean, that's a lot of data enrichment here. This is, this is, um, so there's a page scraper with the proxy crawl. I got some use cases for this, so I got to dig into this a little bit deeper. Before we jump out of here, let's take a look and see what other things we can do in here. I can build different workspaces. I can bring other members. If you if you go to that paid plan, you can bring in other members in here. I can build another workspace. And all pretty, pretty straightforward from that. I actually don't even see where I can have any sort of uh account set up or, or or anything like that i mean it's really a pretty straightforward interface there so i would say check out check these guys out i mean this is an interesting product i gotta spend some more time working with it but being as it's um it's uh free to start with there's no reason not to come in here and explore this and and take a look at more you can see i'm just clicking on everything now taking a look and I would definitely say I'm gonna go in and read these docs which I don't do before I do these videos in this case I'll say I don't read the manual in this case I probably will read the manual a little bit more all right I'm gonna wrap this video up check out clay.run you might like this as much as I do uh, and if you do like videos like this subscribe to our YouTube channel check out our website techsmartboss.com and sign up for everything we're doing there and stay tuned I'll talk to you in the next video